I'm Caitlin Chimden. Thank you for watching Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm here with Dr. Michael Hirsch and we're talking a little bit about children's safety, especially now with the summertime here. Lots of outdoor activities to be done, kids are out of school, so one of the most common activities of course is swimming. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the important key pieces of safety that we need to keep in mind when children are out doing these things? First thing I would say is parental supervision is very important. Um, kids should not be left to their own devices at, at pools or at the beach. There should be some mechanism, whether it's a, a caretaker, a pool person, uh, you can't rely solely on lifeguards or the kids themselves. Buddy system is a good thing and explaining to the kids that you know they've got to look out a little bit for each other. Familiarity with the pool or familiarity with the beach is important too. Uh, the kids should uh, be kind of oriented a little bit to where's the proper uh, part of the pool that they should be swimming in, where's the safe part of the beach. Is it very important for a parent to have a very good understanding of exactly you know, where their child sits as far as how well of a swimmer they are and what skills they have for any given type of body of water they may be swimming in? That's very important to know uh, what conditions your, your child's going to be facing. In the pool situation, the crowds are great if it's a nice hot day, everybody's having a fun time, but it's tough to keep an eye on your kid in a really crowded pool. So. I think the kids really have to kind of uh, establish some kind of thing where they're checking back in with the parent or the caregiver, whoever is uh, in charge of the pool situation, to kind of make sure their, their, their whereabouts are known at all times. If there's a real uh, reputation on some of these uh, beaches of having heavy t rip tides or, or very you know, violent surf, if your child is really not an experienced person in that, they shouldn't be going in the first time by themselves, really without a lot of supervision. For more health news, stay tuned to Health Watch, or you can check on chartertv3.com and click on the Health Watch page. I'm Caitlin Divnan, stay healthy.